Hi, we are Miami Volleyball sophomore class, the class of 2022. I'm Jennifer Schultz. I'm Louise Cummiford. I'm Gabby Harper. And I'm Sophie Riemersma. <laughs> um, so first, we're going to talk about the upcoming season and kind of our goals and aspirations and what we want to get out of it. Um, personally, my goal is to win another MAC championship. Um, I'd love to get another ring. The last ones we got were really cool. Yeah, I'm really excited for this season. I think it should be a good one. We have been working very hard, and the team just really connects very well. We're all really close. Um, yeah, I really want to get a ring too, Jen. Good thinking. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I think about the upcoming season. Um, for the upcoming season, I would also like to get another ring since we are known for that here at Miami. But um, I'm also excited because we brought in some new freshmen. I'm really excited to start working with them and like getting better every day, and also just strengthening us as like a team and like knowing that we have a target on our back, but like we're willing to take the challenge too. So, yeah, as they all said, I'm really <laughs> excited for a chance to win another MAC championship. And because we did lose in the tournament last year. We have some unfinished business to take care of, so I'm ready to take on that. Yeah. Um, so right now, us sophomores, we're living in a house with the four freshmen, too, so there's eight of us. Um, it's been a really good opportunity to get close with them and kind of make them feel more at home, um, bring them into part of the family, and there's some big personalities, a lot of talent, and I've loved getting to hang out with them so far, and I can't wait to keep on playing with them throughout the season. Yeah, this summer has been super fun. I think we can all agree. Um, we have been working super hard. Carsey, our strength and conditioning coach, who we love, is not making it easy, easy for us, but that's a good thing because we're always up for the challenge, like Gabby said. Um, yeah, Jen brought up the freshmen. They have a lot of talent. Um, I thought <laughs> they're going to they're gonna have their own podcast soon, but you'll get to, you'll get to meet them. They're really cool. We love hanging out with them. And yeah, I think I think we should talk about the motto that yeah, Sophie yeah. said. Sophie, yeah, go ahead, Sophie. <laughs> One more is right. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you probably know, we are back to back to back Mac regular season champs. Snaps for that. I can't snap, so there's <laughs> that. <laughs> I can't. I, I seriously I can't. It's tried. But uh, we are looking to make that a four-peat. And since we did make it to the finals of the MAC tournament and fell just a little bit short in the fifth set, uh, we decided this year to all come together and want, we all agree that we want to finish that game and want to be able to have that cool experience. We haven't want, ever won a MAC tournament yet and so that's all an experience that we definitely want to have and we definitely have some unfinished business to take care of so that's why we all agreed as a team on that motto for this year. Um, and I was going to say also going along with the unfinished business we want to be able to take Miami to an NCAA tournament and hopefully like roll the tradition of actually winning a national championship so like we talked about this today Carsey also talked about we, we're setting the foundation for our team to like actually go far enough for that. And so I think with all of our whole, all the girls on our team, like that's what our mindset is set towards. It's not just winning the MAC tournament, the MAC regular season conference, or we want to go beyond that and win the national championship. Yeah. Um, so I guess we can talk more about ourselves now. We've talked a lot about volleyball. Um, we can all say what our favorite memory from the summer has been. Oh, okay. I think my favorite memory would be, let's see. I mean, we make a lot of memories here because we're just really fun. I would have to say, hmm, give me, give me an example. Are we doing just July? Or right, I don't know. I think I just July. Oh, I have one. Okay, Lindsay Taylor, you'll meet her later. She has um, these like strings. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my feet, but I have three bracelets. On my ankle, because she has all these strings, and she's taught us how to make friendship bracelets. So I think that yeah. we've made a lot of great memories making those friendship bracelets. And our friendship has just really, yeah, grown since making those bracelets. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say that was my favorite memory. Um, 
I would say another memory that we just had recently was we found two frogs in our showers. Yes. So <laughs> we have gone through a whole like season of finding like random things in a shower or a different locker room that we've been traveling to. So that was quite the experience for us. So we'll definitely probably remember that for a lifetime. Um, one of my favorite memories is like we like to eat. So we are, live in an apartment right uptown, and we there's so many different really good restaurants up, up there. So uh, we have, we've gone to B-dubs. Uh, one of our favorites is Fiesta Chara. It's just a good time to just get to know each other and then just to go out for ice cream at Spring Sweet Streets. I don't know, what is that actually called? Spring Street. Spring Street? Yeah. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm a big fan of the pool, and a lot of my teammates are too. So we go to the pool almost every day, um, which is probably not great for the skin, but I wear sunscreen. Uh, also, a lot of us like to watch The Bachelorette. Um, the finale is coming up on Monday, so excited to watch that one. Team Tyler C. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, I also have another memory. Our great upperclassmen, who we love, and they take very good care of us, um, had a little team bonding time and we all went to like one of their houses that a few of them live in and we played games and that was really fun. We got to see more personality come from the freshmen. Um, yeah, I thought that was really great. We really do have great upperclassmen and they are very talented and we love them and we're excited to see what they bring to the table this season also. Um, yeah, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, we are we are looking forward to everything. We have been grinding it out this summer. Carsey has been, like I said, being tough to us, and we've been just like doing more reps than the conditioning tests that we have later on. Like, so whatever. How do you word that? Yeah, we've been doing more than that. So hopefully, we're prepared for the actual test, which is a fun time. <laughs> we're really looking forward to it. I promise. Yeah, I think it'll be nice to like get that out of the way just because we've been working so hard for it all summer and it'll kind of just be like one thing to check off. Um, and it'll be a really good feeling once we do that because all of our hard work will, has, will show and pay off, hopefully. Um, and we usually do that the first day, not the day that we get back, but like the first day of practice. Um, first thing off the bat, so <laughs> hopefully that goes well. And another thing with the conditioning test, I think it all helps us like if we can all agree like that when we are like running our hearts out or like working really hard that we're all super supportive and like you can hear every single one of our voices so that also like makes it even like easier to like get it done because you know that like all these girls like have our backs and like they're always encouraging us and it definitely helps too like Jen said like once we're done with it then we can like focus on like pushing hard for the season to start and like getting better also. Um, another thing in preseason I'm excited for is our dinner at Coach's House. We did that last year. Um, we First, we like went around to a bunch of stores in town and gave them our posters and our little like game card schedules. Um, and then we all went to Kroger to pick up food. And then we made dinner at her house. And we watched Miracle, the movie. Um, it's always like an inspirational movie. I think this year we're watching Soul Surfer. Um, but that's always fun. <laughs> nice little team bonding activity. Speaking of movies. Have you guys seen any this summer that were good? Um, no, but last summer <laughs> I saw Mamma Mia 2, which was really good. Big fan. I'm still waiting for that to come out on Netflix, but that's my favorite. I'm a huge Disney movie fan, so I saw Aladdin, and it was one of the greatest movies I think I've ever seen. It was so good. Highly recommend that. Um, I also saw Aladdin. That was like really good. I love the soundtrack also. But I'm a big Marvel fan, so I saw the Spider-Man um, Far From Home movie, and that was really good, especially because Tom Holland is in it. So it made the video even better. <laughs> I have not seen this movie yet, but I really want to see The Lion King. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. I've heard a few songs from the soundtrack. It's beautiful. So, yes. Uh, okay, what, what show have we binge-watched this summer? Stranger Things 3, finally. Super entertaining. I love it. Um, I love the characters. They're just kind of witty. Little kids. They're funny. And it's just really, it's different. It's a different show, but it's fun to watch. 
Um, I've recently started um, the TV show Friends. I haven't watched it all the way through, so I'm, like, really excited. And I love all the characters. Like, my favorite is Monica Geller. So I just, like, really love her and her fashion. I love looking at all the outfits and, like, how it looked back then. So it's, like, really fun to see, like, a group of friends and, like, imagine, like, you, like, looking back and, like, remembering all your friends that you had also. So, yeah, how about you, so? I love that 70s show, Michael Kelso, uh, his, he's Ashton Kutcher, and Mila Kunis, I think, is that how you say it? Yeah, and they're together in real life, and they were together in the show, and it's just so, so cute. <laughs> so. Um, I started watching Grey's Anatomy, me and my mom watch it together, um, but she always somehow gets ahead of me, but uh, it's really addicting, and I feel like I'm like part of the characters' lives now because I've watched it for so long. But I'm still only like halfway through because there's like 15 seasons now. Um, but I really recommend it. Now that so now that you guys are sophomores, how do you feel going into this year that's different compared to when you come in last year just as freshmen? Yes. So I, it's great because I know exactly what to expect. Life of a student athlete can be challenging at times, and coming in, we just, I mean, we knew it was going to be tough, but we just had no idea what to think or anything, and it, it was a great experience, and I wouldn't take back my freshman year, but I really enjoy being more prepared, being stronger, being smarter, having a higher IQ in volleyball, and yeah, I enjoy that a lot. Yeah, I also feel just a lot more prepared for everything and uh, having played with pretty much the whole team for a whole year now makes it easier too just because I'm familiar with everyone, know everyone's tendencies, who likes what, you know. Um, we obviously have to adjust with the freshmen but it's really nice just to be able to focus on that uh, relationship with them rather than every single player in the gym because um, like in high school and club you played with the same girls pretty much your whole career um, and it was kind of a big change to play with different hitters, a very different style but it's nice to kind of already have that under our belts. Um, I would agree. Like Louise said, like coming, like now going into our sophomore year, we definitely like understand like what's going on and stuff. So like we were just talking about this. We were going over like all of our plays that we run. So like knowing that, that was like a big learning curve when we came. It was like remembering everything that we have to do and knowing our jobs and our position. And so I think going into this season, so now that we know everything about that, it's going to make that like one more like less stuff that we have to know and like learn about. So. Yeah, freshman year, at least for me, was definitely just a building year. Uh, we were just learning everything about Miami systems, what we do here, uh, what the coaches expect, what our teammates expect of us. And uh, now it's our turn this year, now that we're confident and have learned all these things, it's our turn to turn over into the leadership role and to coach the younger freshmen who are coming in just as we did last year and just going, they're going through the same process we did and just putting ourselves in that leadership role. So. All right, let's lead, let's finish off with this um, fact. Let's sell the fans. Why should they come see you this year? I would say come to our games because there's always so much high competition. Like, we're going to play our hearts out for you guys. Like, we get excited when you guys get excited. And, like, we love volleyball just as much as we know. Like, when you guys come to our games, like, that's how much you'll love it also. And we're going to try to win another MAC championship. So, yeah. I mean, volleyball is a fun sport to watch. And I think everyone should watch us because we've been working very hard and becoming way better, and I want everyone to see us succeed and show off our new skills that we have. So yes, please come. Um, yeah, we've worked really hard. Come support us along the way the whole season. Um, it's great when we have a crowd that kind of stays with us through the tough and the great. Um, and then at the end, it's kind of just one big family. So come be a part of that family. Love and honor. Love and honor. Love and honor. Love and honor. <laughs>